fiend, no the boss. Put peanut butter on her pussy. Let his pits lick it off. What is up, my fellow hip hop fans and music lovers in general? My name is Givens, and welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to the second upload of, of today of me reviewing a bunch of new stuff that came out on Friday. Um, yeah, it's the second upload, and for the second upload, I'm going to be talking about the new mixtape by the one and only Mike Posner called Keep Going. Yes, Mike Posner himself, the guy responsible for songs like Cooler Than Me, Please Don't Go, I Took a Pill in Ibiza, and the guy that also made a pretty, pretty impressive album earlier this year called A Real Good Kid, where he talks about, you know, the death of his father, the, de the death of Avicii, you know, uh, just just a bunch of, you know, like, pretty, like, depressing and real stuff. Um, he has dropped a very surprising uh, mixtape. I guess it came out, like, on Thursday, I want to say. I'm not entirely sure. It, it came out around that time. But he dropped a surprised uh, mixtape, um, kind of pulled off an Eminem. And pretty much, uh, like, like, while he's fucking going on a very dangerous and very, very uh, extreme... A journey right now for those of you that don't know Mike Posner is currently walking across America I think he is actually almost finished I think he's in Arizona at the moment um, I'm, not, I'm not entirely sure but he's like very very close to finish um earlier this year after dropping a, a real good kid Mike Posner announced that he was going to be walking from the Atlantic Ocean to the Pacific Ocean pretty much he's walking from New Jersey all the way to fucking um Venice Beach and me and a lot of p people that I talk to, you know, have thought this man is going to fucking get himself killed. Um, which he actually almost did. Um, for those of you that don't know, he had to stop. Uh, he, he had to like uh, stop uh, walking for a while because um, he came to Colorado. But, like, you know, he, he he's walking. He, he went from um, from Kansas to Colorado and on his first day in Colorado he fucking got bitten by a rattlesnake just right there and it shouldn't be funny because um because he literally almost fucking died like it's, it's a fucking rattlesnake like yeah it was a fucking baby rattlesnake but still like like, like it's pretty fucking poisonous and you know you know uh, luckily uh uh you know he, he got hospitalized and, you know they got the poison out in time so you know he uh, he he luckily you know you know like made out alive he just obviously couldn't like move for a while because you know i'm pretty sure he got bit in the foot you know you know getting bit by a snake that's a fucking bitch um but the reason i find it funny is because you know i'm i'm, I'm from colorado you know for those of you that don't know I'm, I'm from colorado you know i um i grew up in denver so you know when i found out that he was gonna be like um in, in colorado for the walk you know me, me and my friends had this you know funny idea of like you know going up to him you know like in a in a car you just pull him up right next to him and be like hey fam you need a ride, you know, it's, it's obviously a really stupid joke, but you know, it, it, it just felt funny at, at that point, but you know, the moment I find out that he got fucking bitten by a snake when he fucking came here, like, like his fucking first day just got fucking like bitten, I'm just like, wow, like, holy shit, like, welcome to Colorado, homie, like, it's, it's fucking dangerous out here, apparently, um, but yeah, this man is walking across America, and you know, like I said, he's very, very close to, to the finish line, and he pretty much dropped a, a mixtape, which is like an open diary of everything he's been learning and everything he's been, you know, like, a re everything he's been, like, reflecting on pretty much during this walk, because, you know, ha having to walk that many fucking miles from New Jersey to Venice Beach, it's like, you know... You know, you probably have a lot of time, like, to have, to, to think to yourself and have a bunch of thoughts for yourself. Um, so pretty much, um, this, this mixtape was honestly really, really fucking impressive to me. It, it was really fucking beautiful. Um, you know, um, first of all, he, he, he talks about a lot of, you know, deep stuff that, you know, not that, not, not that many people want to talk about, you know, you know, he, he talks about depression, you know, death, you know, he, he's, he's obviously still, you know, uh, sad about not only the death of his father, you know, like the death of his of his best friend Avicii, but even like he talks about a a death of of a fan of his. You know, he apparently had a fan that he um that he uh, talked to a lot, which was on Twitter. 
you know, you know, like he he had the honor to to talk to her for a bit. And apparently, she had died, like like a few days later, like a few months later. And it's like you know, like just just hearing that, I was like, fuck, like that's fucking sad. You know, he pretty much talked about you know, like how hard it is trying to be a human being. You know, when when you're sad, you, you know, you know, when when life bends you the fuck over a lot. You know, when 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 you get smacked a lot. You know. When life throws a lot of obstacles at you, you know, like, there are some days where, you know, it, where, you know, you're not really a great person, you know, there are days where you can be an asshole, there are days where you can be, um, like, distant from others, you know, you know, there, there are times where, where you can be just, just a really sad and depressing person, you know, and, and, you know like, like, just not that best, the best person to be around. And so, you know, you end, you end up, you know, taking your anger and, and sadness and for trade and frustrations out on, on like the people you care about the most, you know, which are the people that are also trying to help you out, you know, in, in your time of need. And, you know, you know, he also pretty much um, talks about how we as human beings don't like, like, you know, you know, we don't accept the help that we, that are offered to us because, you know, we are seen as weak, you know, you know, we don't want, we don't want to be seen as weak. And we also don't want to like, I guess, let other people carry our burden of what's, of what's like making us like sad, you know, like we feel that it's unfair to a lot of people to, to have to like, you know, deal with what's making us sad inside, you know, so it's the reason why a lot of people who have dealt with a lot of like, you know, bad shit in, in their lives by, by themselves, you know, it's the reason why they don't like accept the help you know it's not it's not because they don't appreciate it like like, like like you know like like they definitely do appreciate that that someone out there is like you know feeling like worried for them and someone out there is showing like their their concern for their own like mental health but at the same time when you deal with a lot of bullshit by yourself it's like you don't really want anyone else to like have to deal with it because you know it's your battle and so mike posner he pretty much talks about you know how he's how you know there's always room to change, you know, there's, there's always room to grow, and, you know, pretty much, you know, just, just telling us that, that always remember that it's okay to not be okay sometimes, because, you know, we all have our bad days, but they can get a lot more shittier if you don't fucking, like, you know, like, accept the help that people are giving, you know what I mean? And so, you know, he also pretty much, like, another big topic that, that he, that he uh, talks about is follow your fucking dreams and follow the goals that you want to achieve because you know because the fact that you are not where you want to be in your life right now is the reason why like like it, 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 should, it should be it should be the one like main reason of why you want to like go to where you want to be you know what i mean it's like yeah you know like there's gonna be a lot of like like rough edges to to go about you know and, and there's gonna be a lot of like tough shit to go through when, when you want to like achieve something you really want to but pretty much Mike Posner is showing us that, you know, everything is possible. You know, we can do anything we set our minds to. And that pretty much, um, you know, don't give up on your dreams or your goals because, you know, you're not getting any younger. And, and, and the time to do the shit you want to do is now. So always, you know, live your life as if you're, you're going to lose everything tomorrow. And always, you know, live your life as if, like, as if you're not going to be here tomorrow. So, So pretty much, you know the main like the main like idea to take away from from this album is that if you think that that your goal or like or like the certain like like dream that, that, that you want to achieve is too crazy and too like unrealistic to achieve then think again because this album is is coming to you by a guy who is currently walking from fucking New Jersey all the way to Venice Beach and who is almost at the fucking finish line he's in He's in fucking, like, Arizona right now. Like, he is not that far from California, guys. So, so just think about fucking Mike Posner the next time you think that, you're, that your dreams are too crazy and unrealistic. Because this guy walked through, like, a lot of, like, dangerous shit. You know, he got bitten by a fucking rattlesnake. You know, he, he be walking on fucking highways and whatnot. Where, you know, people on the highways can be fucking dickheads, you know. So, so it's like, you know, just, like, don't. Don't ever think that your dreams are unrealistic and, and like unachievable because if Mike Posner can walk all the way from New Jersey to Venice Beach, like, you know, with obviously a few bruises, but can still fucking like take it like a champ and still fucking make it, then so can you. So 
please, please go get whatever it is you're, you really want because I guarantee you it is not unrealistic and it is not too far to reach. You know, but with a little bit of will and a little bit of hard work, you can do and you can be anything you fucking want. And that's the fucking truth. So with that being said, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed my review. Uh, go uh, go ahead and follow me on Instagram down below. As always, DM me for a request. Uh, don't forget, uh, also follow Mike Posner on Instagram down below. Uh, his new mixtape, Keep Going, is out now. Go listen to it. I, like, it's, it's very therapeutic. I find it very therapeutic. You know, um, it, it's really awesome to see how a lot of, like, famous people are, you know, like, are, 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 like, supporting, are supporting, um, Mike Posner for, for what he's doing, you know, like, I know P. Diddy is out here, you know, like, like, a rooting for him right now, uh, Steven Taylor, the, the guy from fucking Aerosmith is, is, is out here, you know, supporting him, so, you know, like, like, I, I, I really fuck with this album. It's very therapeutic. So please go look at this dude if you haven't already. And um, with that being said, thank you guys for watching. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and click that bell down below. All that good stuff so you don't miss any upload from me whatsoever. And don't forget to stay happy. Life's crazy. My parents worried about me because I didn't talk to nobody. Just made beats.